There's one name that's very popular in America, the Ford Mustang. It's more than just a car. It's a symbol of power, freedom, and plain coolness. So fasten your seatbelts, because we're about to take you on a journey through time to see how this beast has evolved over the years. Mustang made its debut in 1964, while our grandparents were cruising around and it was a game changer. People adored it for its bold style and the sensation you got when you revved up the engine, as if you were a part of something rebellious and awesome. Now fast forward through the years, and the Mustang has seen it all. Different looks, different vibes, but always with the Mustang spirit alive. Let's cruise through history where power meets the road. Let's take a closer look at the Mustang's roots. The first generation debuted in 1964. Ford introduced not just one car, but an entire lineup that catered to a wide range of tastes and preferences. The 64 Mustang was officially unveiled at the New York World's Fair on April 17, 1964. Ford aimed for a simultaneous nationwide release, which resulted in people lining up at dealerships before the car even hit the showroom floor. The marketing strategy was as daring as the Mustang itself, and the rest, as they say, is history. The original Mustang lineup included three body styles, hardtop, convertible, and fastback. Whether you preferred the sleek elegance of the hardtop, the wind-in-your-hair freedom of the convertible, or the sporty allure of the fastback, the Mustang offered something for everyone. You could choose from a variety of engines under the hood, personalizing your driving experience. The base model featured a thrifty inline six engine, ideal for those seeking a balance of style and efficiency. On the other hand, Ford offered powerful V8 engines ranging from 4.3 liter to 4.7 liter. The base 2.8 liter inline six engine produced 101 horsepower. The 4.3 liter V8 produced 164 horsepower, while the more powerful 4.7 liter V8 produced 210 horsepower providing a performance option for those seeking a little more muscle under the hood. Keep in mind that the first-generation Mustang was about more than just driving, it was about making a statement on the road, leaving an enduring legacy that will live on through the ages. The second generation of Mustangs debuted during the turbulent 1970s. Born into a period of change, the 1974 Mustang faced challenges that shaped its identity. Consider the oil crisis, changing emission standards, and a shift in consumer preferences. The Mustang had to adapt. The design departed from the aggressive lines of its predecessor, favoring a more streamlined and refined appearance. During this era, the Mustang offered a new lineup that included the coupe, hatchback, and Mach 1. The fastback styling persisted, with a sportier appearance that reflected the Mustang's performance roots. Under the hood, engine options evolved to reflect changing times. The base model had a 2.3-liter inline-four engine, which reflected a focus on fuel efficiency. However, for those who desired more power, V8 options remained, with engine sizes ranging from 4.9 to 5.8 liters. Power figures have dropped as a result of the industry's focus on emission control. The base model's inline-4 produced only about 88 horsepower, while the V8 engines produced 122 to 140 horsepower. But the Mach 1 was a notable addition during this era, designed for enthusiasts looking for a mix of style and performance. With a sporty appearance, racing stripes, and optional V8 engines, the Mach 1 maintained the Mustang's excitement. One intriguing feature of the 1974 Mustang was the introduction of the Ghia luxury package, which added a touch of sophistication to the lineup. The Ghia models had upgraded interiors, distinctive badging, and an emphasis on comfort, which marked a departure from the raw power focus of previous years. While the second-generation Mustang faced challenges, it paved the way for future innovations. Ford unveiled the third generation of the iconic Mustang in 1979, keeping up with the times and laying the groundwork. It's the era of neon lights, cassette tapes, and a cultural shift that shaped not only music and fashion, but also the automotive landscape. The Mustang underwent a major redesign in 1979, resulting in a more aerodynamic and modern appearance. The boxy lines of the past gave way to a sleeker, European-inspired design that mirrored the times. This marked the birth of the Fox Body Mustang. The lineup included the Mustang Coupe, the fastback-styled Mustang Hatchback, and the Mustang Convertible. Each model demonstrated the new design language while maintaining the Mustang's distinct sense of style. Under the hood, the 1980s Mustang offered a variety of engine options to suit different driving styles. The base model typically featured a 2.3-liter four-cylinder engine, with V8 options ranging from 4.2 to 5.0 liters. Power figures increased significantly from the previous generation, with the exception of the base four-cylinder, which produced around 88 horsepower, but the V8 engines outperformed, 
producing more than 200 horsepower in some configurations. This was a return to the Mustang's roots of performance-oriented options, carrying on the thrill-seeking tradition. The 1982 Mustang GT was a standout model of the era, embodying the spirit of performance with its 4.9-liter V8 engine producing 228 horsepower, upgraded suspension, and distinctive exterior features, making it a favorite among enthusiasts. In 1984, the Mustang SVO Special Vehicle Operations model was introduced, with a turbocharged 2.3-liter inline-4 producing around 175 horsepower. This turbocharged powerhouse was designed for performance enthusiasts, with cutting-edge technology, sport-tuned suspension, and a unique biplane rear spoiler. The fourth generation of the Mustang debuted in 1994, bringing with it a new sense of modernity and power. The 1994 Mustang represented a departure from the Fox body design, with a more rounded and aerodynamic appearance. The exterior was sleeker, but it retained the distinct Mustang look that made it instantly recognizable. It was a nod to the future while also paying tribute to its legendary past. Models such as the Mustang Convertible and Fastback-styled Mustang GT Coupe continued to appeal to a diverse audience. Under the hood, the 1994 Mustang provided an exciting range of engine options. The base model was typically equipped with a 3.8-liter V6 engine, which provided a good balance of power and efficiency. However, for true enthusiasts, the GT model stole the show with its 5.0-liter V8 engine, which produced a mighty roar and lived up to the Mustang's legacy of raw, unbridled power. Power figures increased significantly, with the V6 engine producing around 145 horsepower and the GT's V8 producing an impressive 215 horsepower. This was a nod to the Mustang's performance commitment, which provided exhilarating driving experiences for those who craved the thrill of open roads. In 1996, the Mustang received a mid-cycle refresh, which included the distinctive New Edge design philosophy. The iconic Cobra badge was also revived in the 1990s, with the introduction of the Mustang Cobra in 1996. This high-performance model featured a hand-assembled, aluminum 4.9-liter V8 engine that produced 243 horsepower, demonstrating the Mustang's commitment to pushing the limits of power and speed. Later in the late 1990s, two more Cobras were introduced, the Cobra SVT, which had a 4.6-liter engine and produced 320 horsepower, and the Cobra R, which had a 5.4-liter engine and produced 390 horsepower. In 2005, the fifth-generation Mustang debuted with a bold, retro-inspired design. Drawing inspiration from classic Mustangs from the 1960s, the 2005 model featured muscular lines, a prominent grille, and a fastback profile that paid homage to its heritage. It was a modern classic that expressed the spirit of the original pony car. This generation was all about combining nostalgic design elements with contemporary flair. The lineup included the Mustang Coupe and the Mustang Convertible. Under the hood, it catered to a wide range of drivers. The base model was typically equipped with a 4.0-liter V6 engine, which provided a good balance of performance and efficiency. However, for those looking for the ultimate Mustang experience, the GT model with its 4.6-liter V8 engine delivered a roar that echoed through the streets. Power figures improved significantly, with the V6 engine producing approximately 210 horsepower and the GT's V8 producing an impressive 300 horsepower. This era also saw the introduction of the Shelby GT500 in 2007, a collaboration between Ford and Carroll Shelby. The GT500 featured a supercharged 5.4-liter V8 engine that produced 500 horsepower and reaffirmed the Mustang's dominance in the high-performance segment. In 2010, the Mustang underwent a mid-cycle refresh that included a more modern and aggressive exterior design. The refreshed model demonstrated the evolution of the fifth generation, combining the Mustang's timeless appeal with contemporary styling cues. The engines were also updated, with a 3.7-liter V6 producing approximately 310 horsepower and a 5.0-liter V8 producing 418 horsepower. In addition, in 2010, a new Mustang Boss 302 was introduced, powered by a 5.0-liter V8 producing 446 horsepower. The sixth generation of the Mustang features a sleeker, more globally influenced design, departing from its predecessor's retro-inspired design. With a lower, wider stance and a sculpted exterior that signaled a shift toward a more global appeal, the design took on a more aerodynamic and contemporary form. The Mustang Coupe and Mustang Convertible models remained in the lineup. The sixth generation of the Mustang not only improved its design, but also introduced new performance-oriented variants, expanding the Mustang family.
The base models had a 2.3-liter inline-four and a 3.7-liter V6 engine, which provided a good balance of performance and efficiency. Meanwhile, the GT model remained a force to be reckoned with, thanks to its powerful 5.0-liter V8 engine. Power figures saw a boost, with the 2.3-liter and 3.7-liter V6 engines delivering around 300 horsepower, while the GT's V8 cranked out an impressive 435 horsepower. This generation carried on the Mustang's legacy of power and performance. The introduction of the Shelby GT350 in 2016 was one of the sixth generation's most memorable moments. This track-focused powerhouse had a 5.2-liter V8 engine with a flat-plane crankshaft that produced 526 horsepower. The GT350 demonstrated Ford's commitment to pushing the limits of performance and technology. In 2020, the Mustang GT500 made a thunderous entrance, with a supercharged 5.2-liter V8 engine producing 760 horsepower. It was a high-performance marvel, reclaiming the GT500's legacy with raw power and cutting-edge technology. It boasted advanced aerodynamics, a dual-clutch transmission for quick shifts, and track-ready components, propelling it to new heights. It wasn't just about speed. It was about precision, control, and a never-ending pursuit of automotive perfection. The seventh and last generation Ford Mustang presents a bold and modern vision. This pony car, debuting at the 2024 North American International Auto Show, combines heritage with cutting-edge technology and performance. The production and delivery of this generation began in this year, 2024. It has a diverse lineup as usual, but with tweaks from previous generations, including the redesigned EcoBoost 2.3-liter turbocharged four-cylinder and a revised 5.0-liter V8. The EcoBoost variant is powered by a 2.3-liter turbocharged inline-four engine that produces 315 horsepower and 350 pound-feet of torque. The GT model produces an impressive 480 horsepower and 415 pound-feet of torque. On this generation, Ford introduced another V8 model, the Dark Horse, which boosts the fun even more by producing 500 horsepower and 418 pound-feet of torque. Adding to the excitement, Ford unveils the Mustang GTD, a street-legal version of their GT3 race car for the 2025 model year. With an aerodynamic design and a supercharged 5.2-liter V8 from the previous generation Shelby GT500, this model targets a jaw-dropping 800 horsepower. It's amazing to see how the Mustang has evolved from 1965 to today. Despite this, Ford is constantly looking for new ways to improve. They simply don't stop. If you enjoyed our video, please hit the like button. Subscribe and hit the bell so you don't miss out on our next uploads. Leave a comment about what evolution you'd like to see in our next videos. Thank you for watching, and stay tuned for more awesome car content.